Alright, how's it going? This is Rex for here, and I'm back yet again with the game tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a simple day and night cycle. Now, basically, what I mean by that is what's going to happen is we're going to have this little day uh, background here, and it's going to transition simply to this little night cycle that we have here. And it's going to kind of give the illusion that it's actually changing from day to night. Um, now, basically, before I go any further, I just want to say that this is not going to be a tutorial in which um, it will actually get darker and we'll get kind of a uh, dark overlay to actually basically make it so it's a real day and night cycle. It's just kind of give the illusion that it actually is transitioning from day to night. So if that's what you want, um, feel free to stay. But if you're looking for something a little more day and night cycle-ish kind of uh, non-illusion thing, then I'm sorry, but this is not the tutorial for you. Um, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and uh, before I begin, just want to let you guys know this is a requested video, or tutorial rather, um, and I can't pronounce the guy's name properly, at least not right now, um, without looking at it, um, but I believe it's like put it in this room or put him in the shroom or something. Um, and if you guys want to leave a uh, tutorial request, you guys can go ahead and either leave it as a comment response to this video, or you guys can go ahead and go to my channel and leave a comment there, which would most likely give you a better chance of having that tutorial done. Uh, but nonetheless, with that said, let's just go ahead and get right into this. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, uh, going to want to do, I apologize, I'm a bit tired today um, because yesterday was my birthday and uh, I don't know, I just kind of bit tired out from all that stuff um, but nonetheless basically what you want to do is create a background that is the size of your room that you are going to be using uh, this uh, little transition in here in my case it's going to go ahead and be a 640 by 480 room uh, so that's what I set this background to and uh, as you can see I already set a, a little gradient fill uh, for this you can do whatever you want you could paint it all blue or all red which I don't know why you want to do that but you can basically make it uh, whatever color you want to make it <laughs> I guess um, now next thing you want to do is want to go ahead and make the same background with the same dimensions and everything as the day background um, except we want to make it look like it's nighttime and basically all I did is use the gradient fill again I know I'm kinda cheap like that but nonetheless it works out for the tutorial at hand Alright, so after you get uh, did those, um, and also really quickly, you want to name them accordingly, uh, day and night. Um, of course, you can name them differently later, but for now, just go ahead and name them day and night to make it a little easier on yourself. Um, so anyway, basically the next thing you want to do is create an object here and name it obj underscore timer. Um, you could also name this anything else you want to name it, but for now I just stick with obj timer or underscore timer just so you can kind of distinguish it from your other objects if you have any. Um, now what you want to do in this object is simply go ahead and go add event, create, go to the control tab, click over a uh, basically execute code. I was going to say something else, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, let's go and enlarge this here. Uh, basically, you want to go ahead and put this code down, and don't worry, I'm going to have this in the description box in a paste bin, um, only because if I put all this code in YouTube's description, it doesn't allow some of these symbols, um, so it gets a little annoying, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the paste bin, so you can go click the link to that paste bin, copy and paste it, and paste it into your execute code um, object here, or not object, uh, event, or pff, action, jeez. Oh my goodness, I really need to uh, <laughs> just do something to get me out of this uh, this kind of, uh, I guess, state here. Um, but anyway, <laughs> next thing you want to do is go ahead and add event, alarm, and zero. And uh, also, really quickly, and again, just go to the control tab, click the execute code. And really quickly, um, what you want to basically do is... Um, here we go. Uh, if you want to change how fast the transition goes between the day and the night background, what you want to change is not this, not this, but this. Um, in the alarm, basically, uh, uh, lines of the code, you want to go ahead and change these numbers. Um, so basically, if you make it longer, like a bigger number, um, the transition will be take a little more time, I guess, um, to, uh, I guess, take place. Alright, so uh, basically, go back to the alarm zero thing, or uh, action, or ah, event. Oh, jeez. Okay, sorry, I cut out there really quickly because I had to uh, go take a break really quick because uh, I was getting a little worn out there. But uh, anyway, I'm pretty good for the most part now. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get back to where we were. Um, we have the alarm zero event here, and we're going to go ahead and go to the control tab. If you're not there already, I'm going to click and drag over some simple execute code. 
All right, so we just want to go to the paste bin here and click and drag over the code and to here, or I guess copy and paste rather. Uh, I'm thinking the whole world's gonna be like Game Maker now. Anyway, back to the tutorial here. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And uh, next thing you're gonna do is add an event alarm one. And again, keeping the control tab here, we're going to stay here for quite a while. Uh, click and drag over and execute code yet again. Paste the uh, simple code from the paste bin into uh, this little area here. And hit OK. And go ahead and go add an event, step, and step. Alright, and do the same thing. Click and drag over some code from the control tab here. Alright, and just go ahead and paste this whole entire code here. Um, and also, really quickly, you're not really going to want to change too much in here if you're aiming to uh, kind of change, uh, uh, I guess, things between the transition and such. Um, this is basically just kind of, uh, uh, I guess, making it so everything kind of works out correctly. Uh, you can experiment a little bit with this, I guess, if you want, but it's not really going to help you in terms of the transitioning. Um, just to let you guys know that, if you guys are having trouble with that. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and add an event, draw. And same thing, click and drag over some execute code and paste the final code in here. Now this is pretty important, um, I want to point this out. Um, for the day and the night here, basically if you didn't name these two backgrounds day and night and you named them something else, you're going to want to go ahead and replace this day with whatever you named uh, your, I guess, day background here. And you're going to want to name this night um, with the name of the background that uh, you basically named your night background. I don't know if that made any sense, but basically you just want to name these accordingly um, for your uh, backgrounds here. Alright, so after that you want to go ahead and hit OK. Create a simple room, which I already have done here. And just go ahead and plop down your timer anywhere you want. As you can see, I already plopped it right here in the uh, top right corner. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much more to it. Um, let me just go ahead and show you the end result here in a minute. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different window here, or change the region, I guess, uh, so you guys don't see all my desktop and get distracted. Uh, so I will see you guys here in just a moment. All right, and we are back, and as you can see, um, we had this little, or we did have that little uh, day background there, and as you see, we transition right back to our night cycle, or night, uh, night uh, background there, and then we go right back to our little day um, background, and it just keeps going and going and going and going. Um, now, a little thing I want to point out here, um, let me just go back to the... Um, uh, to the, I guess the file or project um, here. So just a moment, I'm going to switch back there. But basically this is what's going to happen in the end. Um, I just want to show you guys a little extra that you can add in. So I'll see you guys here in just a moment. Or we'll see you guys back here in just a moment. Alright, and I'm back here just to show you guys a little extra thing that you could do that um, I know I did in the uh, Blocks Project or the Blocks Project game, um, which is now renamed to Blocks Quest for those of you who are wondering. Um, but anyway, um, what you can also do is right below here, you can basically um, say, just kind of write out whatever code you want to write out so that basically when it turns nighttime or even daytime, something else can happen right below here. So you can kind of add on to this code um, to make things happen, you know, maybe if you want to have a uh, shop closed and then opened at uh, maybe daytime and then kind of closed at nighttime, you can kind of put that code here, maybe set some variables or something. Um, but basically the point is you can add on to this code and uh, pretty much do some pretty cool things and make it so you know when it's nighttime maybe a certain thing happens or when it's daytime a certain thing happens and uh, some fun stuff like that so go ahead and mess around with that hope you guys enjoy this tutorial hope it worked out for you and uh, well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make more in the future but for now feel free to comment rate on this video or comment and rate rather and even feel free to subscribe for upcoming updates on upcoming videos I said that really backwards -y, but you know it doesn't really matter <laughs> Um, so anyway, I apologize for my kind of worn outness, I guess, in this video. Um, I am a bit tired, as I said earlier in the video, but I hope that didn't uh, stop you guys too much from, uh, or withheld you guys too much from completing this tutorial, and I hope it works out for you. And as always, this has been Rex Furry, guys, and I will see you all next video.